to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror, and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at InfoWars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Remain in your houses. The President of the United States has declared martial law under Executive Order 11004. Will they do it? Will they pull the trigger this time? We all pray they stand down, but an engineered crisis seems more likely with each passing day. Think it can't happen here? Executive Order 10990 locks down all highways. Executive Order 10995 seizes control of all media outlets. Executive Order 10998 controls all farms and food supplies. All these executive orders are now cocked, loaded, and waiting for the right crisis. So if you're worried about the possibility of martial law here in America or have questions about how to survive it, go to MartialLawSurvival.com. That's MartialLawSurvival.com. Go to MartialLawSurvival.com right now. You must remain in your houses until your bracelets are scanned. spent 12 minutes with that one caller. I want to try to get to more of your calls now, but it was a really important point he brought up. If you underestimate how predatory the ruling class is, you've got a problem. And finally, Limbaugh, last Friday, admitted there's a corrupt blue blood robber baron. These are quotes. Ruling class that uses government to expand their power and that wants to destroy the middle class and America. He finally admits there's a corrupt clique running America. He's always denied that. This is a big deal. It just shows how far we've come. Now we can have a real debate about this. And we would have already been able to have a real debate because we're making Limbaugh and others passe because they won't cover the real issues. Very exciting. Let's talk to Eric in California. Eric, you're on the air. Well, thank you for taking my call. I'm very honored to speak with you. Um, I'm a proud PrisonPlanet.tv member. I'm also a former air traffic controller in the uh, U.S. Air Force. And once the uh, shock of 9-11 wore off. My training pretty much disclosed how absurd 9-11 was, but that's not the reason that I'm calling. Um, the reason that I'm calling is that, you know, with this whole WikiLeaks story, um, I kind of feel that this is maybe possibly the beginning uh, of the end of um, independent news via the Internet. I, 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 I almost get the feeling that it's like a, a false flag. Well, I agree with you. I agree with you. Whether WikiLeaks are, is good or not, and I tend to think they're good, they are now trying to use, oh, look, they used this clip of this uh, government official saying, I wouldn't help the white farmer, but it was out of context. Uh, I'm seeing a drumbeat everywhere of the mainstream media needs to shut down the alternative media. And now because of this WikiLeaks thing, we've got to have a gatekeeper to check things first before it can be put on the web because this is just too dangerous. And, yes, that's one of the points I was going to bring up. Very, very dangerous time. Go ahead. Well, hey, that's all I had to say, Alex. Just keep up the good work. Um, you've, very, you've enlightened me in many, many ways, and I appreciate that. Well, well, let's go back, though, Eric, because the truth is the truth. And NORAD did stand down. There were CIA drills of the very targets being hit at the very same time. We have the police saying, get back. The government's going to blow up Building 7. I mean, that's CNN. I mean, we know the official story is a lie, and we can't just choose to say, well, I'll buy what the government says about 9-11 because it feels better. Now, as an air traffic controller with the Air Force, formerly, what, I mean, what, what sent up red flags for you? Well, you know, 757s are not stealth, and, um, you know, we, we were trained um, to control planes from hitting one another, and if... Uh, beacons went down, if uh, communications went down, uh, as a controller, we still had the responsibility to keep that aluminum from hitting. Um, and so when you have a primary target that's being painted on a, on a radar screen that's going off its um, airway, you know, which is its flight path to its destination, uh, and they their story is, is that they turn the transponders off, well, when I was controlling from 1983 to 87, 
you know, we could tag those targets and put our own uh, uh, tracking data on it, meaning that, you know, we could tag that target. And they did and mark the targets, but then right. NORAD came in and took control and put simulation overlays and was removing it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't think any of us know because they haven't really talked about it. But what's absurd is, is that those targets, those don't go away. And if we're off course and you've got a controller that's responsible for that particular aircraft, and he's also responsible for other aircraft that he's controlling, and, and then this target is getting ready to hit some other controller's airspace that they have to control, they have to let people know. And it's not only a controller, but that controller has an assistant next to him, and then standing over his head, he's got a supervisor. So the whole damn thing is absurd, completely. Eric, I appreciate your call, but what I'm telling you is we have the tapes. There were simulations going on to confuse the air traffic controllers. We'll be right back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I'm going to continue with Cliff, John, Doug, and Mike, at least those calls. Then I need to get into a bunch of important news dealing with the oil, possible evacuations in the Gulf, uh, the economy. Also, an interesting story I saw out Friday, and it's up on Infowars.com, where they admit that Prozac levels going into the Gulf of Mexico, because all the major water supplies end up feeding out through those rivers, is dumping Prozac, most of it passes through you, and making the shrimp commit suicide, basically. They'll swim right up to birds, because it just makes them feel completely confident. That's the same reason in almost every case, mass murderers... You know, people who aren't psychopaths, mothers who chop their babies' arms off, mass shooters at schools, they're on these serotonin reuptake inhibitors because it takes all inhibition away. I mean, I've known women in college that were on this stuff, and let me tell you, they were wild. Something was wrong with them. And I'd date them, and then I'd quit dating them because something was wrong with them. I'll just leave it at that. But it makes people very promiscuous, you name it. It just shuts off the thinking process. Let's go ahead and talk to Cliff in Virginia. Cliff, you're on the air. Well, hey, Alex, how are you doing? Good, sir. Uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, some of this WikiLeaks stuff that's been going on. Uh, it, you know, this is just typical of, of what they do in the mainstream media is, is they demonize uh, people who try to get the truth out. Patriots become terrorists. And if you'd uh, allow me, I'd like to relate a personal anecdote uh, along those lines. Um, if you recall, last uh, last September 11th, the anniversary last year, they had a false flag event on the Potomac with the Coast Guard. And that incident uh, prompted me to write an email at my company. And it's pretty short, uh, if you allow me to read it. Uh, the, it's entitled Public Service Announcement. It was sent with high importance. 
It says, today is the eighth anniversary of the day the Bush administration murdered 3,000 people to enable the illegal invasion of the Middle East. This level of treason is unprecedented in the history of this nation. The attacks of September 11th, 2001, were not only a physical attack, they were a psychological attack on the people of this country in order to sway public opinion for an invasion of the Middle East oil fields. Osama bin Laden had absolutely nothing to do with 9-11 and publicly stated that fact. 